Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give raffle information and a spirituality reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius for the month of June, year 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are one of my returning viewers, watchers, or subscribers, I'm sending you so much love and light and blessings. Always, you know how much I appreciate and love you, so always welcome back. And cross watchers, please do come in, have a seat, join us, pull up, enjoy the reading. And just know that I appreciate all of you as well. And I'm sending you guys love and light and blessings for all of us, for everybody. Okay? All right. In this reading, I will be using this new deck. Okay? This is the spirituality deck. This is my spirituality messages deck. And uh, I worked on this a while ago, a long time ago. And with a designer, and it took a while to get back. But I'm very meticulous. I pick out, like colors and fonts and like every every picture detail like i'm i'm so detailed but um i want to do a raffle for you guys because you guys are so wonderful you guys got me to 500 plus subscribers i appreciate you guys for that you do not have to be a subscriber to enter to this raffle because a lot of viewers you guys add to my channel as well and you guys are amazing all the people that hit the like button and everything like that so please do that now please remember like share subscribe and comment I appreciate all your wonderful comments. All of you, including the subscribers, helped to build my channel, and it's going and it's growing, and um, I'm seeing it take off. And I just appreciate all of you. I, I can't do it without you guys. Know you're my team, and I appreciate you. So one of the ways I'm giving back is by doing this raffle. So if you want to get in where you fit in, please donate five dollars to my PayPal below, or you can send it to my PO box. All that information is below in the description box. And also my email if you guys have any other questions or want to know anything else about it. All you have to do is include the word donation into the comment section, you know, whenever you guys do send for PayPal. And if you want, you can add your email. You don't have to, though. Okay? You don't have to. But um, yeah, I can get it later, whatever you feel comfortable with. But add the word donation so that I know you are donating to this raffle. And if you do that, then I will know that you want to be in it. And that's an automatic ticket in. Okay? There are 54 cards in this deck, and um, I hope you guys really enjoy it. I will be sending the organza bag here that you guys see. I'll send this with it and everything. And it's just a plain white box inside. I don't think people are going to leave it in the box, but you could, or just leave it in the bag, whatever you feel is best. But um, I really love this deck. I think my designer did a really great job. I had to wait a long time for it, but I appreciate her hard work because I put a lot into these messages. They're all 100% from me. Um, this is what I do as a life coach. And you guys know, I do tarot and oracle, and these are not tarot nor oracle cards. This is a spirituality deck, okay? It's called the Spirituality Messages deck. It's about connecting with God and spirit, living your truth, living your highest self and purpose, looking for fulfillment and, you know, counting your blessings, loving God and, and building that relationship right. It's, it's a very spiritual deck, and I love it. It can be used with tarot and oracle, and I'm sure I'm going to. But um, it doesn't have to be. You could be sitting around the fireplace or around the table with your family and friends. I'm thinking Christmas, holiday time, giving these out for the holidays and just picking a message for each other, for yourself, something that you want to incorporate into your life and work on. It's up to you. You can shuffle. You don't have to shuffle. But it's a very unique deck. And you'll know because the way I have it broke down, I mean, there's no way to really do this deck wrong. There, there's no way you could, you could do it wrong. You could read it however you feel comfortable reading it. I don't recommend reading it in reverse, but if you want to and that's what you feel inclined to do, do it. But um, it, it's really up to There's no wrong way to do it. So the first card has spirituality messages. This is just my main message to you guys. The next three cards have candles on them, and they are three scriptures from the Bible. And then I have five stacks of ten cards each. And the first one is alleviate worry, stress, and fear. There's no numbers on the cards. The second one is hope. The third one is life purpose. The fourth one is count your blessings. And the fifth one is my favorite, build a relationship, a good relationship with God. And they all have pictures underneath like that. Okay, this is the alleviate worry, stress, and fear. This is the hope. I should have said it as I went, but this is the life purpose. Has like the golden or yellow brick road. Count your blessings has the the uh, fortune cookie one and then how to build a relationship with God has the cross on the back now 
the back is going to look like the front and the front is going to look like the back. And you'll, you'll know that you can shuffle these any way you want. It's a very unique deck. I designed it this way purposely. I wanted it designed this way. I was very, you know, particular, meticulous with how I did that. Yeah. And did I show you guys this one? This is the Hope with the Stars. But anyways, um, so it's five of them. And I'm just going to shuffle each one. Of course, I pray and meditate before every reading for every zodiac sign, every person. So I'm going to just pull a message from each one and read it as such. And then I'll get an overall message and I'll, I'll shuffle the whole deck together and get you guys that message. Okay. So get in where you fit in. It's just $5. And um, thank you again so much. I appreciate all of you for getting me to 500 plus subscribers and counting. And all the likes, shares, subscribes, views, energetic beautiful energy that you guys send my way and wonderful loving comments i appreciate the shout outs and just everything that you guys add you guys make my day and i love you so much okay the main message here let's begin your reading aquarius my main message and this is in all the decks and your deck will be unopened fully packaged the whole shebang it says i hope and pray my advice wisdom education life experience spirituality and how to approach help you to navigate through this wonderful yet challenging thing called life Blessing, success, infinite, and abundance by me. It should say infinite joy. The word joy is missing. So you guys are definitely getting my prototype. So I will be making some changes. Like I might make the font bigger. I love the font, but I might make it bigger. Or I may move the messages from the bottom to the center. I'm not sure, but I'm going to make a few tweaks, but not many. I'm impressed and I really love this deck and I hope you guys do too. The next three cards, I put Bible scriptures on it. Okay. And it looks like this. It has the candle. And who knows, I might even change this black font into white so it's a little bit easier to see. You know, so you guys are getting my original, though. For you five lucky winners, and I will announce winners if I didn't say this on June 15, 2021. So we're not waiting to the end of the month. Let's get to the middle. Let's get these out there and get it moving. All right, get in where you fit in. Good luck to you all. Okay, the first one is from Romans chapter 15, verse 13. And the Bible says, may the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him, that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I love that scripture. <clears throat> this is my favorite scripture. This is Palms chapter 34, verse 18. It says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. God heals you guys. He really does. He's always there for you. No matter what, he never leaves your side. He's with you. From Romans chapter 12, verse 2 in the Bible, it says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Amen on that one. Don't conform. Do what's right. Even if this world tells you right is wrong and wrong is right and try to confuse you, listen to God and spirit at all times to do what's right and what's best for you in your life. All right. Some of the ways that you guys can alleviate worry, stress, and fear, Aquarius, is to do the following. And I'm going to pull a message here. There it is. Laughter. It says laugh. Laughter. Watch your favorite movie, <clears throat> funny skit, a meme, or comedic actor. You know, laughter is amazing. It makes us all feel good. It breaks the ice. It breaks the silence. Sometimes we need that belly roll, tumble on the floor, laugh out loud till you can't stop. We all need that, you know, from tickling a little child's feet to those cute little toes to just laughing and rolling all over the bed. We all need that sometimes. And I appreciate all the comedic actors and all the people that make us laugh and just in our lives. You know, we all know somebody who's funny, right? And it could be you, Aquarius, but we need that person. That person lifts the room. They lift the spirits. They make things feel good. You gravitate to what's happy and good energy, and that's what we need in our lives. How to keep hope alive. Keep hope alive always. First, you know, of course, that's important. For Aquarius. Definitely reach for the stars. This one says, go through it to get through it and turn to healthy options. Yeah, it's so easy to turn to drugs and smoking and doing negative things and hanging out places you shouldn't be. Don't do that. You know, it seems like the easy way, but the easy way really is the right way because the right way opens doors to more righteousness and happiness and pleasing yourself and God. Go the easy way, the right way. The, the true easy way is blessing yourself by not going wrong when you know your 
guided to go right. But sometimes when you're mad or you're hurting, it could be easy to pick up that drink that you don't need. You know, replace that with a smoothie, something else that's just as good or better and better for you. It's healthier for sure. You know, if you're overindulging in food or um, could be people or toxic behavior, stop yourself. Flip it to something else. You know, it's interesting. My, my daughter was just telling me, I think it was yesterday or the day before, she was telling me about some meme or something she saw where a pregnant lady was smoking and her husband put her on blast all over the internet. And I told my daughter, I said it would have been better if he would have helped her to replace that habit with something else, you know, or, and I, and I said this on the flip side, maybe he was reaching out for help. Maybe it wasn't to embarrass her or, you know, he probably reacted out of anger, you know, for the healthy and safety of his wife and his unborn child. But it would have been better to go to a doctor and keep it private to talk to somebody who maybe has walked that path before, but changed their ways and came out of it or walked that path and lost big time. You know, it's best to go to like people who have experience in that area. Okay. And also to respect other people's privacy. So turn to healthy behaviors in life, especially when you want to go wrong. You know, if you feel like overindulging in, let's just say you love treats and candy, and we all have a sugar tooth at some point, right? Most of us, if not all of us, but instead of always going for that third piece of pie that, you know, you probably shouldn't have because maybe you had pie yesterday and three more pieces the day before, and you're like, hey, I'm eating too much pie. I need to slow down. It's good, but I need to slow down. Get on the treadmill or go eat something that's healthier. Go eat a bowl of fruit or something. It's okay to spoil ourselves here and there. But remember, you don't want your teeth to rot. You want to take care of yourselves and live your best. And, you know, you're not going to be happy to see those extra pounds unless you just don't care. But, you know, it's always good to groom, take care of yourself, love yourself, and care about yourself. And when you care about yourself, you make better choices for yourself. Of course, you're going to have your junk food day. We all do, right? Of course, we're going to have our M&Ms and the things that we love. Eat the stuff that you love, but balance. You know, be healthy. And especially if... You know, you're dealing with something tragic or difficult, you know, some type of loss. You know, it's easy to just say, forget it. And I'm not going to care about this and that. And you could lose yourself. And I hope none of us ever do. But if you do, you can pick yourself up and keep going and get it right and get back on the right track too. turn to healthy options and choices. And just know this in life, we have to go through tough times to get through it. It's not easy. So just know it's not easy. But stay hopeful, okay? Stay hopeful and keep laughing. How to find your life purpose. Let's see. For Aquarius, Spirit for Aquarius. So, to help you find your life purpose, Aquarius, it says elevation and evolution should be the goal. Grow. Look at the possibilities. You have a lot of options and possibilities in life. Dig in, do your research, look into things, find out, be in the know, keep growing and evolving. You never know how high you can climb or go until you, you know, make the experience, make it pop, make it happen. All things are possible. Make it happen for yourself. Keep growing. There's so much more to life than, you know, the four walls that you're in. It's a small world. Yes, but. It's also a lot in the world. And there's a lot going on at all times. Dig in is what I'm hearing. Dig into yourself. What can you do? Ask yourself, what do you want to do? What's going to make you happy and fulfilled? Let's see how spirit wants you to count your blessings. Okay. Okay. You have be resourceful, volunteer, use what you need, look to see what you already have. I love um, and appreciate all the volunteers at the food banks, the churches and everywhere. They're doing an incredible job feeding a lot of people that really need and can use this food. And I've even picked up food and I've helped my neighbors, other family members. I've told other people, as many people as I could about them, especially people who I know are struggling and it felt so good to hear people say, you know, I ate the food that you gave me like days ago, or I ate this and, or, um, I was able to give this to my brother, 
based on something I gave to them. And that's such a good feeling to know that I paid it for and they paid it for and that look how many people has received food or help and supplies. So I love that. Pay it forward. And um, God is definitely going to bless you. It's already a blessing to go get something for free or to get help. We all need help. We all need each other. And a part of serving God is to help one another. Be very resourceful, meaning use what you have. Use what you need. It's okay to stock up. It's okay to look around and take inventory and find out what you need. And hold on and use what you have. Share what you have if, if, if you can. Thank the volunteers who are out there helping. And all these organizations that's helping people and families. They're doing an incredible job. They're vessels. They're working for God. And I appreciate all of them. Use what you need, you know. Don't just splurge just because you can. We all have those days where it's okay to spoil yourself and splurge. But don't make that every day. You know what I mean? And remember to recycle and take care of the world and the earth and focus on cleanliness. Look at what you have. Take that inventory. Sometimes we buy things and it's like we may have five of them. We don't need another one. Or give one away to a family member. Oftentimes I'll go to the store and I'll buy things, but I don't just buy it for me. I'll buy it for like my mom or my grandma or like different family members if I know they need something and they won't ask or they go to the store and they forget to get it and I see it or they've mentioned it but haven't gotten to it. If I'm already out, then I'll just grab it and get it for them. And we do that for each other and it does make life so much simple and it helps, especially if something's on sale, I can get me one, my mom one, my grandma one, and that's three different households and so that everybody has. And we all do that with food and supplies and you know, share with others. And believe me, people will pay it back to you and share with you and God will bless you, guaranteed. That's a great way to count your blessings to do these things. My favorite one, as I've already stated, for Aquarius Spirit, how can they build a good relationship with the Lord? You can repent and you have the word forgiveness here. Remember to forgive yourself and everyone. When you go to God and repent, you apologize and ask God to forgive you for everything you've done wrong. And it's okay to list all these things. Let the tears flow. Let it go. Let it flow. Get it off your back and shoulders and do it until you have no more tears to run. Until you stop crying. Eventually you will stop. Eventually you will stop. And remember to forgive yourself. True forgiveness is changed behavior. So when you forgive yourself, that means you also have a plan that you've changed your mindset, your heart, and you've implemented a plan to be better and to do better and to right your wrongs. You can still apologize to people, even if they slam the door in your face. You can still apologize to people just through spirit. Whether they're in this world or in heaven, you can still apologize for your wrongs. Because as long as you get it right with God, that's what counts the most. You have to get it right with God. You have got to get it right with God. That's all of us. This is the most important thing we will ever do. This is the first mission for all of us. We share this. Doing good deeds to help each other, we share that. This is what makes us human. We have to build this relationship right with God. And forgive everybody else too. Even if they didn't ask. Even if they didn't say sorry and apologize. Even if they didn't change and they drug your name through the mud, forgive them. We all know hurt people hurt people. And I'm sure all of us are tired of hearing it. But I'm glad that message is out there because it's true. But we can change that message and lessen it by learning the lessons and being better and doing right and doing what's good and changing. So we hurt less. So we hurt less people. It's time to heal ourselves and each other. Don't you think, Aquarius? It's time. It's time for healing. People are tired of hurting. I can just feel that energy. People are tired of being tired of being tired of hurting. It's time for healing. And we heal with love, with kindness, with caring acts and gestures. Doing things, that's, doing things that are meaningful from the heart, from the soul. 
Think about how God wants us to react and act towards each other. Would he be pleased with you? Is he happy with how you carry yourself? How you talk to others, how you communicate, how you interact on the job with family, with friends, with your loved ones? Who are you when nobody is around? Be the best you. We all have time. As long as we are here, we have time to get it right. We owe it to God first and foremost. We owe it to ourselves, our parents, our ancestors, our family, our friends. We owe it to all of us to be better for the next generation. People have died and went through horrible things before us and to this very day. We owe it to ourselves and most importantly, God, to live righteously. To live in the righteous and we could do that starting now, today. And kudos and hats off my salute to everybody who's been doing it. Because it's hard to feel like you are a few. But please know there is more than just a few. There's a lot of us doing it right. And it's not always easy. Because a lot of us have had to fight against our own loved ones, our family members, our friends, or people we call friends. And had to sever ties because they wouldn't go to the light and to what's good and what's right. We can't change anybody, but we can change ourselves. And when we change ourselves, we change the world. Let's do better. Let's get it right. We got time. God gave us time. It's up to him how long that time is. It's up to us what we choose to do with that time and how we choose to live. Let's choose to be happy and hopeful, loving and caring, respectful, brilliant, Let's be brilliant, Aquarius. You're born to be brilliant. Why not? Okay. I am going to get an overall message for you. I'm going to put all the cards together. And I'm going to mix them up. And get an overall message for my lovely Aquariuses around the world. For Aquarius, what's the overall message, please, for And I'm shuffling. There's no wrong way to do this deck. You don't even have to shuffle if you don't want. You don't have to. There's no wrong way to do it. Do it your way. How about that? For Aquarius Spirit, what's the overall message for Aquarius? June, year 2021. What's the overall message? There it is. Boom. So you guys got a message of hope. Expect great things to happen to you. Yep. Manifest good things. Expect wonderful things. Ask. Believe it and receive it. Whether it's a new car, a new house, a marriage, a happy marriage, a beautiful marriage, peace and serenity, a great vacation, new shoes, new clothes, traveling in the future, expect it. Whatever you want, expect it. Stay in that mind frame. Raise that vibration up. Hold your head up to the sky, to the heavens. Thank God for everything that you have and everything that you will have. Blessings are coming. Hang in there. Hold on. Never, ever give up. Keep hope alive at all times. Okay, Aquarius, this has been your spirituality reading for the month of June, year 2021. Please get in where you fit in for the raffle. I hope the messages in this reading resonates with all of yours, many of you as possible. I'm sending you so much love and light and blessings, infinite joy and abundance. Bye, Aquarius.